Greetings, and indeed a renewed, reinvigorated salutations. My name's Neil Cross, or Ex Expert Elite, etc. Uh, and this is Tech 3D. Uh, right, so, a title though. Did I, did I bait you in with that? Mate, that's just what I've been reduced to these days. Uh, two good reasons to upgrade to Inventor 2024. Mate, where's your, where's your what's new video? Don't you normally do what's new video? More on that at the end, mate. Stick around. More baiting. <laughs> anyway, right. One good, because I've totally read the what's new in, in detail and I know everything that's in Inventor 2024. But in all fairness, this is something that which has been needed for a while. Uh, you could do it in the past via a, a really awkward hack that I made a video on a long time ago. You can now import your own custom HDRI environments into Inventor and have them as a background for lighting and ray tracing uh, and GPU ray tracing. So in fairness, well done Autodesk for that. That's good. And um, is it going to change everyone's w workflow and make them more productive? No, absolutely not. But it's just one of those things that was... It's a good quality of life thing. So there's there's one. Is it perfect? <laughs> no. It, far from it, in fact. Let, let's just observe, right? There's the you see the background, you've got the the sort of the hedge or the grass line there as soon as you enable ray tracing. Why is it moved? <laughs> what what you think you're getting doesn't actually you don't actually get it. Which is very frustrating. And different HDRIs seem to shift in, in very different ways. The perspective just goes all to cock. Uh, and the lighting, it doesn't reflect the, the viewport very well. It's odd. But again, in fairness, I think this happened sometime during the 2023 life cycle. They've now enabled ground shadows in ray tracing and GPU ray tracing and also decals are enabled. You can just see it in there. It's very dark, but it is it is there. Uh, my uh, my old TFI logo is, is in there. Manipulating the lighting in Inventor's ray tracing mode, I guess you could call it, is still woefully inadequate and just shambolic to be fair it's it's awful uh, but another upside is when you do it so this is how you do it you go into oh, I'll start from the start so you can see oh, you drop this on the view tab drop down the little uh, you know your scene lighting style go down to settings and then you can either create a new one or you can take one of the existing ones and just select upload an image and then you can go to somewhere like polyhaven or just go to hdri haven and download a whole bunch of free ones from there and um, then you can pick 8K HDRIs work. I haven't tried the 16K ones, but 8K HDRIs seem to import. They'll come in looking, that's the the raw HDRI. So it'll wrap that around like a sphere, uh, which is one of the downsides of this. It doesn't flatten the floor. Uh, but then when you save and close, you, you can see it's still a sphere. But if you line it up to the ground, it, it can sometimes, you know, it's, it, it sometimes looks good. But then as soon as you enable ray tracing, watch the background. It just... It just, it's just a different, it's what's happening? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but you've got control over the lighting, right? I mean, the, the exposure of the scene seems to sort of work. You can rotate it, ish. Uh, I say ish, you can't rotate it, that's, that's unfair. But it doesn't scale up and down the scale slider, it doesn't work. Uh, lighting, th this is just horrendous. Like, trying to control where the lights are, it's like, where are they, where are they going, don't know. Uh, I don't, I don't know. And then the shadows, right? I think this is just for the viewport because the ray tracing should override these. It, it should, whether it does or not, I don't know. Uh, but then, it, it does it look great? No, I mean it, it, it doesn't look good at all. It's still pretty, it's still pretty bad. And that's in, that's in high. But it's, it's better. It's better than what we had. So yeah, backgrounds are now supported with an inventor, which is a good thing. Uh, so that's reason number one for upgrading to. Inventor 2024. Reason number two, and I'm not going to lie, the main purpose of making this video. <laughs> Look, if I titled it, Infmark is now supported for 2024, you wouldn't have clicked on it. It's just facts, mate, facts. If you go head on over to the Infmark website, the benchmark uh, that I made uh, in conjunction with Cala Group is now supported with 2024. But there is, I haven't talked about Infmark on the channel for about two years. I, I haven't overdone this. And there's a good chance a lot of people watching this have never heard of it. So but about four years ago, I uh, worked in collaboration with Kadak Group, who are a European Platinum Autodesk CAD supplier slash reseller, service provider. And I designed a complete workstation slash laptop benchmarking tool for Autodesk Inventor. And it is, it's exceptional. It is brilliant. It, I designed every test from scratch. It will run through a number of workflows and grade your workstation on how well it does. The workflows that I've got in there are very broad. So we've got modeling tests, dynamic simulation tests, data translation, graphics, ray tracing, assembly tests, FEA drawing tests. You can optionally upload it to the leaderboard where you'll get your scores slapped onto the leaderboard and then you can compare your 
um, you'll score with other people's like people who've got a similar uh, system to you, or maybe you're looking to upgrade and you want to see what a particular system performs like an inventor. You can check that out on the leaderboard. So two things of note with this release. Number one, actually three. Number one, if you up, if you downloaded Infomark before today, apologies, it didn't work. I've just fixed a bug on it today, so it should work now. Uh, number two, we've um, I fixed an issue with the FEA test uh, prior to today. Look, in, in Inventor 2023, at some point, Autodesk changed the FEA engine and the scores that were uploaded were kind of hard capped at a certain ceiling. So it didn't matter how good your system was, the FEA score in particular was sort of capped at around 13 to 1400 points and it would, didn't matter how good you it would never get past that. That's because Autodesk changed the way their FEA engine worked and the thin walls on the part that I've got were causing an issue with a mesher. So I've adjusted some of the mesh settings in the benchmark test and it now removes that ceiling. So you, if you want to retest your workstation or your laptop, you'll get a better score now, particularly in the, well, specifically in the FEA test, which will impact your, your, your overall score. Uh, number two, three, the, uh, one of the, the, I made a change to the website uh, or I've, I've asked for a change. To the website. So Kadak Group, graciously, they host the website for me and they also take all my ideas on what the test should do and they do the coding and the, all the programming and the compiling. Uh, and I've been asking for this for a long time. So let's just say you upload a score and you've got a dreadful Dell Precision 7770 and you're thinking, why is my score so bad? Uh, particularly with draw, like, how am I only getting 1679 points on draw? Who's who's getting? So this number here is the highest score for this particular version of Inventor, Inventor 2023. If you want to know what workstation or laptop has that score, you can now just click it, and it'll take you to the the entry on the leaderboard that got that high score. It, it's something I've been asking for this for a long time. Like ray tracing, who the hell got 11,744 points in ray tracing? When a 13900KF only got a fun. Ah, it's a Threadripper Pro. That'll explain that then. But, you know, and it, it, there's a lot of fascinating insights on Inmark as well, like the fact that the Threadripper Pro, absolutely exceptional at ray tracing because it's got a mere 64 cores, but it, it only does 12,000 points. It's smashed. It's only just good at the multi-threaded score. And that is because... There's only one thing that Inventor does that will leverage all those 64 cores. The rest of the multi-threaded tests are pretty much subject to what's called Amdahl's law. So parts of the operation are multi-threaded, but the majority of it's single-threaded. So like drawing views, for example, when you're computing a drawing view, that particular part is multi-threaded, but there's a huge like stack within there, which is single-threaded, like opening the drawing, placing the views. That bit's all single-threaded, like loading the data into RAM. But then it starts to compute the views. It'll use a lot of the cores. But that particular part is held up by the single thread. That's called Amdahl's Law. So, um, yeah, that's why the Threadripper Pro doesn't do very good at the multi-core score. It's just, on balance, it's just not great. It's not a great chip for, for 3D CAD. And uh, that's uh, that's the other thing we've added to the the leaderboard. Go to About Infomark, click download the add-in. That'll, uh, that'll get, it'll get you going. You can upload your score and you have a new FEA score as well if you want to retest your workstation. Reach. So there you go. If you're thinking to yourself, well, Neil, where's, why you been, in 2024's come and gone, what have you been doing? Like, where's your what's new video for Inventor 2024, mate? Uh, yeah, um, I've just, I'm taking a bit of a, I don't know, I'm a bit of burnout, right? Uh, I'm finding, I'm getting more value and enjoyment out of just making singing videos for family. <laughs> You're yes, that's that's a thing. Uh, so I'm doing. I'm just. I'm getting on with some real work. I need to get. I need to get some get some income. <laughs> to be honest, like. So I've been focusing on that, and uh, and yeah, howling into a, into this microphone for uh, for family. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. In links in the description if you want to download Infmark, and I'll uh, I'll see you in the next one. Whatever that might be. Doodles.